Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you one of my math books. It is called Lectures on the Theory of Functions of a Complex Variable. It was written by Sidorov, Fedoryuk, and Shabunin. It was published by Mir Publishers Moscow, which was a publishing company during the Soviet Union. And they would take Russian books written by mathematicians and scientists and translate them into other languages. This book is one of my rarest books, and so I thought I should make a quick video just to show you my copy. It's gonna open it up. And there's a signature there. Let's just take a look here at the inside. Translated from the Russian by Eugene Yakovsky. These books typically have a treatment of the material that is very different from a lot of the other popular books that you might be familiar with. This one was first published in 85, revised from the 82 Russian edition. I'm gonna give it a whiff here, just interesting smell. Let's take a look here at the preface. This book is based on more than 10 years Experience in teaching the theory of functions of a complex variable at the Moscow Physics and Technology Institute. It is a textbook for students of universities and institutes of technology with an advanced mathematical program. We believe that it can also be used for independent study. We have stressed the methods of the theory that are often used in applied sciences. These methods include series expansions, conformal mapping, application of the theory of residues to evaluating definite integrals, and asymptotic methods. The material is structured in a way that will give the reader the maximum assistance in mastering the basics of the theory. To this end, we have provided a wide range of worked out examples. We hope that these will help the reader acquire a deeper understanding of the theory and experience in problem solving. Let's take a look at the contents of this book. So you can see what it contains. So chapter one is an introduction. Chapter two is on regular functions. Chapter three is Laurent series, isolated singular points of a single valued function. So these are topics that you will see if you take a complex variables course in college as an undergrad. However, I do think that the treatment here is very different and a lot more hardcore. Chapter four is on multi multiple valued analytic functions. And that's typically the case for these types of books. Chapter five is residues and their applications. Six is conformal mapping. And then seven is simple asymptotic methods and eight is operational calculus. And you can see how it starts, it's quite gentle. Let's, let's take a look, I mean, it is a good book. Complex numbers, the definition of a complex number. A complex number is a pair, x, y, of real numbers, x and y, for which the concept of equality and the operations of addition and multiplication are defined as follows. They define what it means uh, for two complex numbers to be equal. Yeah, so you might be thinking, well, don't complex numbers have an i, like, you know, a plus b i? That's what a complex number is. Yes, but you can also think of them as ordered pairs, right? So it's the same, same principle. Just go to some more advanced stuff here. Just skip to the back here. Here you can see some harder topics. So conformal mapping is something that is also studied in an undergraduate course on complex variables. However, it's typically not covered or covered at the end and it's rushed. And it's simply because as you can see, it's near the end of the book. So in a classroom setting, this is something that's typically not covered thoroughly or at all. Uh, in a first undergraduate course. Um, if you take a graduate level complex variables course then, or complex analysis course, then you, typically you see conformal mapping and some other topics as well. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna give it another whiff here just to smell it. Just, mm, this is a nice copy. This copy is in wonderful condition, although there's, I don't know what that's about there. Looks like someone took a pen or something. I'm not quite sure, but it's a solid book in tip-top shape. It's a very nice book, Lectures on the Theory of Functions of a Complex Variable. I just thought I would show you this book.
Keep doing mathematics.